Okay, so this is your spur stock assembly. Uh, you got all the parts laid out. Mm -hmm. The stock, you know, I'm talking. The stock adapter, rear sling plate, uh, buffer tube, castle nut, that should all come pre assembled. Um, everything else, these two parts, you have a washer for if you have a pneumatic piston. If you just have the normal spring, then uh, you'll use the this little tube, the buffer collet. So the first thing you have to do, and I've already done it, I've already taken apart the old G3 stock, is you have to remove the butt pad to get to the screws that hold this whole, these two parts. So these parts are gonna come from your G3. So in order to do that, can you show that? You just took a set of grips and bent the crap out of it and it comes back. You're going to scratch it up. So if you care about it, put some tape. If not, these spring clamps hold it really in. So this long screw is what's going to be holding this assembly on here. So this long screw is going to come out. Then you take out these two screws on the end of... Uh, I can't remember what this is called, but this little um, assembly, these two screws will come out and they have two little washers. You don't want to lose those. So make sure that all comes out together and then your spring and this whole assembly, assembly will come out. So you can set that aside. Um, so your spur stock adapter, drop this down in there first so it's nice and flush. And it should be flush with the edge right there. Otherwise, you can have problems getting that whole thing together. Because you're going to fit your spring assembly on there. Like so. And you have your two screws with these little split washers. that in place and that goes in right there instructions they'll tell you to do it maybe a little different but I found this way to be the easiest if you don't do it this way getting that little piece right here down around the end piece of that assembly can be difficult so first thing I do is I drop that screw down there Get it to sit. This is where having a bit of a longer, thinner screwdriver that will fit all the way down in is beneficial. Okay, now that's in. down too tight yet. to where it'll hold in place but this will still move a little bit back and forth so you drop these screws in get them set and now you can tighten these to your heart's content. Okay. 
Hey, hey, hold the camera. Okay, those two are set. I can come back in here. Get that nice and snug. So now that's all assembled. Last thing you'll have is your T20 torque screw and driver. Slip that on. Fudge. That hurts. that good lord that hurt. that slips on there then put it on don't mash your pinky So we're doing this in real time, so you're going to see all the mistakes you can make. Do -do -do. Now your stock assembly is there. Show this part up here. And assembly goes there. Painting pens over here. Sling back on. Okay, and we functions check it. Here. Bang. That's how you do this first stock. The instructions are terrible, um, but what you should be left over with after you're all said and done is either the buffer, or whatever this tube is, or the washer. I thought I messed it up the first time, but the washer is what I'm left over with, and then your old assembly there. So that was me doing it in real time. So you can see like, oh, there's some mistakes you can make, some places you can screw up. But uh, yeah, that's how you do the square stock install. I have yet to see another video on YouTube that explains it, which is kind of dumb. You'd think a company would put that out. So I'm just a dummy in my shop with these tools. And that's what you have left over. So, cool, thanks. And don't pinch the crap out of your pinky.